What's up, Fight Fans? Thank you, as always, for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right, so Eddie Hearn has recently said that there could be a wild card opponent for Anthony Joshua's return to the ring, which is April something, I can't remember, at Wembley Stadium. What Eddie Hearn is trying to say, and I'll translate it for you guys now, is that we have absolutely no idea who AJ is fighting in April. Absolutely no idea. So I've got a list. I've got a list of seven names that AJ could fight come April with the wild card, I think, in there as well. Some of these fights, absolutely no chance. Some of them could happen, right? All right, let's start with the one that I think absolutely no chance whatsoever, Tyson Fury. This fight might not ever happen. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. Um, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua, I think, is by far, by far, the biggest fight in British boxing history, by far. I can't even think of a fight that comes close to it, if I'm honest with you. Um, it would do record numbers um, it will sell out in seconds, and I mean that, seconds. Like, you could, literally could log on to any ticket outlet, and I think all tickets would be gone immediately. I think it would sell out in seconds. But there are so many hurdles, especially if we are realistically talking about this fight happening in April. Like, just not going to happen. I mean, Tyson Fury will have to go to America and beat Deontay Wilder, number one. And they'll have a rematch clause in that fight if Fury were to win. And um, so for that fight to happen with AJ in April, um, They'd have to somehow navigate the rematch clause. They'd have to beat Deontay Wilder. They'd probably have to relinquish the WBC belt they just won. I mean, where would the fight be shown? Sky Sports box office or BT Sports box office? Can Frank and Eddie really sit down to negotiate this fight properly? I mean, loads of money in it, but no, it's not happening. There is more chance of someone walking through my door right now with a £2 million check than that fight happening in April. Absolutely no chance. Not happening. All right, Deontay Wilder. The longer this fight drags on, I think the tougher this fight is to make, I really do. Especially now when you add the zone into the equation as well. Before it would have been shown on Showtime Boxing and Sky Sports Box Office. No problem, right? It would have been on pay-per-view in America and pay-per-view in the UK, and that would have been it. Now we've got the zone involved. I mean, is it shown on the zone as well as Showtime as well? If Deontay Wilder beats and knocks out Tyson Fury in a couple of rounds, his star power goes up a bit more. Um, initially, there was talk about a, what a 65-35 split. He's not accepting that if he beats Tyson Fury. If he obliterates Tyson Fury, he's coming to the table asking for 50-50. Will AJ and Eddie Hearn give up 50-50 to fight Deontay Wilder? I don't think they will. So as much as that is the fight everyone wants, I just feel like it's going to get harder and harder to make to the point where, it, again, it might not happen, which is crazy, but it might not. Um, Big Baby Miller um, talks a lot. Um, could sell a fight, will come to fight, unbeaten. But I, I just don't know if beating Adamek and Bogdan Dinu in your last two fights gets you the AJ fight. I know he had good wins before that when you think of the like of Dupas and Marius Vak, but I mean, does Bogdan Dinu, who is unbeaten but unknown, and Thomas Adamek do wins against those two, and he's got to beat Dinu tonight, but do wins against those two put you in a position to fight AJ? I don't think so. So, not for me. Derek Chisora. I mean, isn't that what this fight's about? Does the winner not fight AJ next? Is that only applicable to Dillian White? Surely, if Chisora beats Dillian White, which I don't think he will, but if Chisora can beat Dillian White, surely beating a top five guy puts you in a position to fight the number one in the division. I mean, no. I mean, surely, wins against Takam and then Dillian White gives you a good argument to say, okay, you know what? I deserve the AJ fight. Look, I don't want to see Derek Chisora versus Anthony Joshua. I'll be the first to admit that. But surely, if your last two fights are a win against Takam and a win against Dillian White, it puts you in a conversation. I mean, people might not like that, but it does put you in a conversation to fight AJ. It does. Kubat Pulev. Um, this is the fight that was supposed to happen, what, last year? Obviously, Pulev pulled out. Joshua fought Takam. Here's Anthony Joshua's IBF mandatory. So it's a fight that does make sense if you're going down that route. Um, he looked decent against Huey Fury. I actually thought Huey Fury was going to beat Pulev. I thought um, stylistically um, Fury could cause a few problems and he worked out Fury's style with ease. So he's definitely still got something left. Um, it's not a fight I want to see anymore if I'm honest with you, but he is his mandatory. Um, he's still good. He's only lost once and that was to Vladimir Klitschko. So he can make a good argument to say he deserves this shot. I mean, he's a mandatory. Um, he's only lost once, as I said, um, and he was supposed to fight Joshua, what, last year? So we could see Kubat Pulev versus Joshua 
in April. The fans won't be happy. The pay-per-view numbers will be down, but it could happen. Dillian White, um, probably the bookie's favourite to fight AJ, right? I just have this weird feeling that Eddie Hearn doesn't want to make Dillian White versus AJ. I know he talks a lot like he does, but I've just got a feeling that he's not interested in making this fight for a number of reasons. I think the obvious reason is that he's now starting to almost make Dillian White a pay-per-view star on his own. Dillian White's numbers against Joseph Park were pretty good, and I think Dillian White's numbers against Derek Chisora are going to be good as well. So I can almost see Dillian White going down a separate route. I can see Dylan White matching up against the big baby Millers of the world. I can see Eddie Hearn trying to force the Dylan White versus Deontay Wilder fight again. I don't think he wants Dylan White versus AJ as much as he's saying he wants it. Plus, is Dylan White ready for AJ? He's had a tough fight against Joseph Parker. He fights Derek Chisora December 22nd. That's going to be a tough fight. He's only going to have, what, five or six weeks off. Then he's got to go into camp again for AJ in April. I think he needs a rest. He's going to have to be in the best physical shape of his life to fight AJ. And I just wonder if his body needs a rest. I wonder if April's too soon. If the fight was June, perfect. April, after what will be a physically tough fight against Shizora, December 22nd, four months. Don't know. I don't know. It might be too much. It might be too much. But I guess he is the bookie's favourite and it could happen. I just think Eddie Hearn almost wants to create another pay-per-view superstar. And I don't know if putting his two biggest pay-per-view stars together makes sense i just don't know if it does the wild card alexander Usyk, right that has to be the wild card obviously a lot of people are talking about Usyk versus joshua right now is he big enough is he strong enough can he take joshua's punch look there's only one way to know these things make the fight how else are we gonna know i mean i'm as intrigued as everyone out there is Usyk good enough to face joshua we don't know the only way we find out is when these guys step in the ring what I will say is that he clearly has the skill set to cause Joshua problems. We know this. But what will happen when Joshua detonates one of his right hands on his chin? Who knows? The only way is if we get these guys in the ring together. I, for one, wouldn't be too disappointed if we got to see Usyk versus Joshua in April. I, I wouldn't be. Um, look, I would prefer to see Tyson Fury. I would prefer to see Deontay Wilder. But aside from that, I mean... I'd prefer to see Usyk than Big Baby Miller. I'd prefer to see Usyk than Chisora. Usyk than Pulev. And I'd rather see Usyk than White. If I'm honest with you, I know people might not be happy about the White one, but it's true. I would prefer to see Usyk versus Joshua because I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued because of all the things I said. Can he take the power? Um, is he good enough? How would he handle the heavyweight division? How would he handle carrying that extra bit of weight? I want to know the answers to these questions. So Usyk versus Joshua as a wild card option is a very, very good wild card option. Um, I can't see it happening. I can see Usyk maybe taking one or two warm-up fights first. But trust me, if he can't get Fury in the ring and Wilder in the ring, which he won't, and Dylan White injures himself against Shazora, what else is there? 